Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this video I'm using GIMP version 2.8.6 which is the current release at this point in time. And in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of Mr. John Paul George photobomber from this nice picture while preserving the background. So the first thing we want to do is download the tool and I give you the link in the description and you're going to get this zip file and if you're using WinRAR like I am when you right click it you're going to extract it here which is wherever you happen to have it downloaded whether it be in your downloads folder or your desktop it's going to give you this resynthesizer tool folder and if you notice I'm using version 1.0 as far as I know, this is the only version that will work with GIMP 2.8.6. So you want to make sure that you get the one that I link you to in the description. So if we go inside here, all of our files that we're going to need for this plugin are here. So if we hit Control A and then Control C, we're going to copy everything in this folder. And we're going to go to Computer. And if you have more than one hard drive on your computer, you're going to want to go into the one that has this Windows icon. In my case, it happens to be Local Disk C. Go into the Users folder, and then whatever user you're logged into, you're going to go into that folder. And then you're going to find a .gimp-2.8 folder, and that's where we're going to go. If you look in the plugins folder. Of course this is where we're going to paste everything we just copied. So hit control V and everything will be pasted here. You can see I've already done that. And now you can close out of this, restart GIMP, and everything will be um, initialized from that plugins folder. And now we can go ahead and get started uh, removing this photobomber. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to choose the free select tool. And I'm going to start just a little bit outside my canvas. And I'm just going to try to stay as close as I can. The closer you can stay to the image, the better your results. This tool works especially well on um, landscapes such as grassy fields, yards, beaches, water, um, because there's nothing really specific that it has to rebuild. It doesn't work really well wh when there's a lot of people in the image because the way that this resynthesizer tool works is it, it grabs pixels um, outside of your cropped area. And it, and it pulls those into this algorithm that it, that it runs and it rebuilds this cropped out area with the surrounding pixels. So of course if there's people in the, in the surrounding area, then you're going you're gonna to eventually use uh, somebody's eye or nose or ear or mouth and it's, and it's not going to rebuild in a way that's going to be satisfactory. So I recommend, unless you're an advanced user, to only use this on landscape and you know, images like that. So, after you get your area selected, you're going to want to go to Filters, Enhance, and then we're going to go to Heal Selection. And this uh, menu comes up here. Now the default is set to 50. And what this is, is this is the amount of pixels surrounding your cropped area that it's going to use to help rebuild the stuff that's going to be cropped out. So if you look up here at your ruler, these uh, the ruler is in pixels, so what I'm going to do is kind of go to the edge of my crop and say it's probably about 480 and if I go all the way over here 
to the beginning of this person um, about 640 so I've got plenty of room for for rebuilding pixels this direction now what you want to be careful is if you decide to take pixels from all around your crop well now you're picking up pixels from down here okay and now it's not gonna it's not gonna mesh well with the water because this is all sand so that's why you might choose the option sides and what that means it'll just go in this direction and this direction if we were you know more towards the center of the of the photo and what that'll do is it'll make sure we don't use any of the sand when we rebuild this water it'll just use the water left and right of the crop and when we fill it now we have a couple of options um, for when we fill it now I've noticed dra da dramatic differences depending on the image and the option that you choose and for now I'm just going to choose random but the nice thing is if you don't like it you can hit control Z and undo it and then you can do it again and you can do it until it works for you so we're going to use 50 pixels we're going to pull from the sides of the crop and we're going to fill it randomly with the data that it receives okay so we hit OK and we let the resynthesizer do its work and as you can see now the photobomber is gone just so you can see that better I'm going to go to select none and you can see it did a really nice job of eliminating the photobomber out of the picture so let's zoom out and let's see how the picture looks looks pretty good now if you look at the image there's one more thing we can get rid of it's this hat down here on the beach so I'm just going to use a simple square rectangle tool and I'm gonna just go around the hat just like that so now we have our selection area then we're going to go back to filters enhance heal selection and in this case it's okay to take the random uh, pixel data from all around but if you look over on the side in pixels from the top of my crop to the edge of the water isn't that many pixels it's not 50 so I'm just gonna reduce this to 25 and we're gonna pull it from all around and we're gonna randomly fill it let it do its thing and you can see now we no longer have a hat select none and it looks just like the beach uh, never even had the hat anyway I hope this video helped you guys and let me know if you have any questions thanks